Hey, Internet and Melee. This is Casey with 25 and 52. Woo so you've probably seen that Joss Whedon made a speech about how he doesn't like the word feminist. Like, he likes the ideas, but he doesn't like the word, which is weird to me. And as I've been, you know, reading and writing, I keep, I keep reading pieces about this. And when I sat down to do my video, I was like, well, that's on my brain, so I guess I'll talk about it. And then I thought, maybe watch the video before you make a video about how you disagree with the video. Anyway, I thought maybe I would watch it before I talked about it. And, um, yeah, that didn't, that didn't make it better. Okay, so I am in general, not here for white dudes telling other people what to call their movements. Just saying. But in particular, I'm really sick of listening to men talk about how feminist is the wrong word to use for it. There are lots of perfectly good reasons to not call yourself a feminist, and I'm not of the everybody who doesn't think that women aren't people is a feminist bent because that's that's wrong and that robs feminism of the the rich context and all the work that's been done and reduces it to like a really non-nuanced position that is the core of all this other interesting stuff but you can go a lot of places from like men and women are basically equal and the big question often is, are we there yet? My answer is no, we're not there yet. Other people answer it differently. Um, but I've spent so much of my life reading men on the internet talking about how feminist is wrong because if you really believe that people are equal, it has to be egalitarian or some other word that probably has some other meaning. They like to use humanist, which means a whole other thing. But anyway, I went into this whole Joss Whedon speech with kind of irritated feelings in the first place. Because I'm sick of being told what I should call my movement. So I start watching, and first, he's just doing this bit about how he doesn't like the sound of the word, that it's not a fun or nice enough word. He makes a joke about how the word Taliban is, like, fun to say and the word feminist kind of grits. And, like, on the level of someone who's really interested in the sonic qualities of words, I get that. It's not the most fun word, but we didn't pick it for that. Nobody picked it for that. We're not... that's not... no. Then we get to this idea that anything that ends with ist isn't something that is natural. And so saying feminist suggests that the natural state of people is not like to believe that we're equal. And I have problems with this argument. I have problems. They are wide and they are varied. Um, but let's just kind of wrap it up a little bit. One, I don't know about this natural state of people. I'm, you know pretty faculty in this that I'm not clear that anyone knows what the natural state of people is because societal influence is so heavy that by the time we can talk we're already really integrated into the society that we're raised in. That said, the society that we're living in, all of us, all of us, is sexist. That's just real. It's only, it's just true. And if you can somehow look at the society we have and say, you know, that we're beyond that, which he does kind of go on to do later. Um, if you can look at it and say that, you know, that we're too equal to equality, then I'm not sure what reality you live in. Okay, now, here I'm just gonna quote, because I don't, I don't even know that I have comment on this particular piece. In the public discourse, there's one word to deal with race. Time out. Is that even true? Racism. That is the word. And it implies something very important. It implies something that we are past. What? When you say racist, you are saying that it, that is a negative thing. Yeah. 
that is a line that we have crossed. Anything on the side of that line is shameful, is on the wrong side of history, and that is a line that we have crossed in terms of gender. But we don't have a word for it. People are confronted with the word feminism and it stops them. They think they have to deal with that. But I think we're done with that as intelligent human beings. So then he goes on to say some other stuff about how the word misogynist doesn't work as an indicator for people who are on the wrong side of history, and that doesn't work because people who we would call misogynists wouldn't say that they hate women. And I just... Just because other people refuse to see the nuance in language doesn't mean that I have to change my language for them. Not that it isn't nice to come up with other things to say to, you know, make them understand, but like... I can say the word right in several different ways and people can understand my meaning based on my intonation. If you can't understand that when I say that something is misogynistic, I don't mean that the people who are doing it would literally say, yeah, I hate women. Maybe, I don't know, learn a little bit more about language. Just, just a thought. Okay, okay, so clearly I am irritated about this speech and I, for a, a variety of reasons. Um, I can't, I just can't. My brain just is uninterested in wrapping itself around that. And while there are a lot of really legitimate reasons to not identify yourself as a feminist, I don't know that this is on the list. Not that I care, right? And not that I think that everybody has to be a feminist, but what's the point of this? Like, what's the point of saying that we need a different word? If we've been successful already, then the word would go away because we wouldn't need it anymore, right? Um, or it would just, you know, kind of be a relic. But we haven't been successful enough. We've been successful, you know, very... Things are better than they were. But, like, do you not see the world? Do you not see the closing of abortion clinics and the pay gap and do you not do you not see this reality and maybe you don't maybe if you're rich and famous and white and a dude yeah everybody I know doesn't care but that's not like that's not real Joss Whedon those things you believe aren't real I'm sorry so that's my my anger for the moment I guess yeah, I guess that's all I got. Hopefully it was kind of interesting. I'm going to write another paper now. Love you. Bye.